hello happy people welcome back to my channel um, I'm here with another edition of nail therapy Thursday and today I'm going to be showing you all how I'm actually going to remove my um, dip powder nails that I used um, that I did using gel polish only so I want you all to see these nails have been on almost three weeks now and you can see all of the growth that's happened here um, these nails have lasted quite nicely and to be honest with you if I wanted to I do feel like I could actually get um, another two weeks out of this if I wanted to um, so I definitely think that the gel method using dip powder definitely does work so anywho long story short I'm going to remove this set and I'm going to do it using the hot water baggy method and I do think that works really well last time I needed to remove gel polish I think I was able to get it off in like seven minutes so I want to see how it works with uh, the dip powder using gel set um, stuff you'll need is cuticle pusher I have the metal one and the wooden one you'll need a little bit of cuticle oil um, you'll also need a file I'm using this really cheap file I do have better quality ones but I have a lot of these and I just kind of want to get rid of them so I think I was in particular use them to um, remove the shine from my nails um, you'll need acetone I do have two different types I have the 100% pure acetone and then I have like the soak off professional and I actually want to try one on each hand to see if one works better than the other um, other thing you'll need is baggies. A lot of people use Ziploc bags. I'm just going to use sandwich bags. And you'll need paper towels. I have two of them, one for each hand. I'm going to try to soak my hands together too so that I can make this process pretty quick. My little one is taking a nap and I need to get this done before she wakes up. Um, I grabbed these bowls from uh, my Dollar Tree. It's two of them. They were a dollar. They're pretty decent quality. They're like the thicker bowls. Yeah, so they got really good substance to them. They don't bend really easily. So this is how I plan to do my setup. Um, I think in this bowl here, I'll do the soak off and then over here, I'll do the 100% acetone. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go ahead first and fill up these two bowls with some hot water and I'll be right back. Okay, so. Yep, both of these bowls have been filled up with some nice hot water. Let's see. All right, everything's in frame here. What I'm gonna do is in one baggie here, I'm gonna take it and fill it up with some acetone. Actually, let me just move this out the way. I'm gonna fill it up just enough to where um, it's just kinda in the corner of the baggie. There we go. Boop. I think that should be plenty here and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the pure acetone so the blue is the soak off and then the clear is the regular acetone I'm gonna put this in the other bag here Oop. there we go just enough there okay and then in each bag I am going to I probably only need one paper towel for this so I'm going to tear this paper towel in half and then I'm going to fold it again and I'm going to just put it at the bottom of the bag like so and then I'm going to fold it in half put it in the bottom of the bag like so and then I'm going to go ahead and put both of these in each thing of hot water and then really quick before I dip my hands in I'm going to go ahead and file off the shiny top coat layer of my nails just so that um, the acetone can penetrate a lot easier and a lot quicker so let me do that really quick for both nails I probably should have did that first but I wasn't really thinking seven minutes starting now I'm gonna go ahead and put both of the bowls in frame and have the timer sitting here there we go and then while my hands are soaking I am going to just kind of like move them around to try and encourage that gel off my hands the other thing too is you want to make sure you don't get any water inside of these baggies because that will make everything very any inefficient
Okay, so it's been seven minutes and this is what my nails are looking like. This is the one where I use the soak off. And this is the one where I use the pure acetone. The, to be honest, I don't feel like I got off enough of my top coat. So um, the part that's coming off, I feel like it's just the top coat. Um, hold on, let me stop my alarm here. Okay. Okay. So let me just try to scrape off and see if anything comes off with what I have here. The other thing I noticed too is that the water got pretty cool. Um, oh, okay. It's still coming off though. Look at that. Okay. Okay, and I think that's the base coat that's there at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Honestly, I feel like if I soak this for like another like 10 minutes, the stuff will come like right off. So I do feel like it works. I feel like it's kind of coming off in one in one thing here you all can see it's kind of coming off kind of in one chunk here which I wasn't really expecting but I don't know how safe that is to take off like that yeah I'm feeling like it got underneath the nails pretty good but not seven minutes I think if I had to soak this for maybe 15 minutes it would have worked better so what I'm gonna do is go back and soak it for another 10 minutes and kind of see what comes off so yeah I will be right back I soaked the nails for an additional 10 minutes let's see what we're looking like here okay um not too much of a difference here um, this one I actually got off camera um, right before I did the soak again for 10 minutes but let's see what will actually come off this is the one that was pure acetone soaked um, let me just move this bowl out the way here. So let's see what it actually come off here. It seems like this stuff is wanting to come off in one. Yeah, it's not really wanting to come. Okay, seems like it's coming off in chunks instead of like, like rubbing off like I've seen in other YouTube videos. Okay, yeah. See, look at that. It just wants to come off in big chunks, which, you know, I'm not complaining about that. Seems like that's a quicker way for it to come off the nail. Again, you want to be really gentle and not force anything off. So whatever wants to come off, I'm just going to kind of bend it back here. Okay. A lot of that came off pretty easily there. Again, don't be too rough on your nails. My nails are pretty strong, so they can kind of handle a little bit more than the average nail. But in general, it seems like it's coming off fairly easily. Let's see what the thumb is looking like here. Yeah, I can feel a lot of this wanting to come up. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my wooden cuticle stick because that seems typically to be a little more gentler on my nails. I'm just going to kind of just wedge it underneath here and just kind of turn just to see what actually comes up. If you all can see what I'm doing, just underneath a slight turn, underneath a slight turn, like so. Yeah, I think that's going to pop right off here. Look at that. So it came off in one in one swift motion. And you can see there's liquid underneath here. So that's good that it was able to penetrate. And for the most part, the nail looks really healthy. So let's see if this works on some of the other nails. Okay, yeah. So kind of go under, slight twist. Go under, slight twist. Yeah, that seems to be pretty good there. Look at that. It, it's kind of coming off like a press-on nail, which I'm actually shocked about. I'm just going to dip my hand in the acetone again, just to kind of make sure I'm not being too rough on my nail. And I'm going to just kind of let that sit, because that's pretty much almost off. And then I'm going to just come over here. Looks like some of the acetone got underneath that nail, too. And I'm just going to kind of use the acetone as a, as a guide to help me get these nails on and off. Yeah, it looks like that push under and turn is really working. Yeah, okay. I, I like the fact that they come off like press-on nails almost. So let's see what this thumb is talking about here. Yeah, so go under, turn, under, turn, under, turn. That seems like a nice way to just kind of gently remove the nail here. I'm not mad at this. 
under, turn, under, turn. See, I'm just kind of slowly wedging it under. And if I feel like I'm ever adding too much pressure, I'm going to just go back in, dip in the acetone. I'm going to come back to this first nail here, under, turn, and yeah, it just pops right on off here. Actually, I'm going to edge that one under a little bit more. I don't want my tip to come off. There we go. Look at that. Oh, well. Actually, I took off some of my nail here. As you can see, a little casualty there. So my nail came up with it. I think that's from not being gentle enough. But we live and learn there. So that's the tip of my nail there. So some of the tip of my nail came off. So the tip of that nail is a little bit thinner than the rest. Huh. Okay. And so then I'm going to go ahead and try to finish this one off. Yeah, it's almost like taking off press-on nails, which is kind of interesting here. Again, I don't want to force it. So whatever comes off naturally is great. Whatever doesn't, dip back in the acetone. Go ahead and just kind of work that a little bit. There we go. So that popped right on off really good. Okay, so this is the hand with the acetone. Let's see about this hand with the soak off. I feel like I've had it out for longer than I need it to, so it's probably starting to harden back up now. It looks like it, it's going to do about the same thing there. So, so far I'm not really noticing too big of a difference then in using one versus the other. It seems like they both probably come off about the same. Um, again, it's kind of interesting. It's, it's coming off in one, one, um, one piece as opposed to, you know, multiple pieces. But yeah, see how that came off there? It seems like the base coat is what's kind of having it come off in one piece, which is kind of interesting. So I'm just sticking it under and twisting. Yeah, it's literally coming off like a press on now. That's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I'm almost wondering if I hadn't shaved the top, like uh, rubbed off the top coat, if it would have came off even easier. But it seems like, I don't know, everything's still holding true together. This one should come off pretty easy since this one had already started lifting anyway. On the sides anyway. I'm just kind of making my way under and twisting. There we go. Pop right off there. So these last two here don't seem like they want to come off as easily as the other ones. Oh wait, here's a little bit here. It's giving me a little bit of a leg way. So let's see if it'll let me go under. Probably want to face this one towards me because I don't want to be too rough on it. So, this definitely isn't as quick as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I do feel like since I had this out of the out of the water so long, then it didn't come off as easily. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish soaking this one. Oh wait, here we go. I'm getting some leg weight here. What's interesting is I can see all the layers that I did come off. So I can see the cure encapsulating with the dip powder come off. I can see the top coats coming off. I see the base coat I laid down coming off. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and dip these and soak these in acetone for a little bit and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just washed my hands and now I'm just applying some lotion to my hands just to kind of give them just a smidge of hydration here. Um, next I'm going to go ahead and just apply some cuticle oil to all of my fingers. Okay. So I'm going to do my cuticles and also the nail bed so that um, my nails can 
get some hydration and feel good again because they just went through it with all of that acetone. I do have a little bit of residue of some of the dip powder still on my nails, but that's something that the drill can easily uh, get off whenever I buff my nails for the next set. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and rub this through, through and through and through and through. So this is how the nails look afterwards. Again, um, don't do everything I did in this video. I'm still like a DIYer and doing everything myself. I know that I have really strong nails and so they typically can um, withhold a lot of things and um, they can kind of, you know, stand a little bit of toughness or whatnot and roughness. Um, that's definitely not good for the nail bed, but mines tend to do okay in general. Um, the only casualty I had was this nail right here. I, I don't know if you all can see it or not, but you know, the tip of it looks a little bit transparent and that's because I accidentally peeled off some of the nail. I do plan to do another dip set on top, um, another dip set um, over these nails. So uh, I think that's gonna cover it up and give it a little bit of strength. But in general, just be really careful with how you all are removing it and be as gentle as possible on your nails. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope it was somewhat helpful. I know there's um, other videos out there, but I figured I'd uh, make my take on it. And if I come up with any methods that I feel are more efficient in how to remove dip powder or gel polish or um, any type of nail enhancements, I'll be sure to update them. But for now, uh, this is the system that I use. Um, I do think next time too, I'm gonna use my electric file and just file down most of the dip powder first and then go in and soak them. I think that would speed up the process a lot quicker too. So yeah, I have um, a nice e-file that has like those sanding bands on them. I've been afraid to use it, but I think I am gonna go ahead and give it a try so that, um, yeah, I can see if it makes the process any quicker or not. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment down below what process do you use to remove your dip powder or gel polish. I'd be happy to hear how you do it. And then if you have any recommendations for me, I'll gladly take them because this actually ended up taking me about 30 minutes to do, which I was hoping it would take like seven to 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what you all think down in the comments. Um, again, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Nail Therapy Thursday. I'll be back next week for my new set of nails. If you all have anything that you might want to see, comment down below and I might feature it in my next video. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my nail videos. I call it, my, my series is called Nail Therapy Thursday. So come back every Thursday for any nail content that you might want to see. As always, leave some love in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.